Hey y'all, and welcome to the Looking Glass Tarot and two card or cards of the day. I do hope this finds you well, and as always, this reading is timeless, and you will see it when and if you are meant to. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Let's see what we have today. Let's see what we have today. That's pretty quick. Three of Wands. I believe the Three of Wands was here yesterday. So the, so the Spirit. Spirit must want a really want to deliver a message today um, to somebody that needs to hear it. Um, like I've said before, the Three of Wands is time to make a decision. It's like, you know, if you're wanting to know if you need to make this decision, then you need, then you, this is your answer to do that. Um, because this is your journey it is now started you know it it before it didn't seem right but it seems like now with the three of wands everything is starting to come into place like maybe there wasn't something there before you were waiting on that might have been one of the reasons you were delayed in making your decision maybe you were waiting on something to fall in place or waiting on some information to come to you are waiting on um, a message for someone so this is saying that all those things you were waiting on to fall in place they're now in place they're now where they need to be everything is lined up how it's supposed to be and so you can start your journey it's also saying that there's a lot of things ahead of you um, a lot of choices ahead of you a lot of decisions ahead of you but you have it's not like you don't have it's you're unlimited is what I'm trying to say so just know that moving forward in your journey there's going to be a lot of different things that you're going to see that you didn't see before um, that are going to carry you into new pathways and new directions to go um, but it's saying you're, you're it's unlimited for you so don't think that you're limited in the direction you can go but it is time to take that journey that's why the three of wands is here it's, it's like I, I kind of feel like you were just waiting and stuff just suddenly everything just started lining up and falling into place for you so it kind of probably happened a little quickly you weren't expecting everything to line up so quick um, because maybe there was a lull before let's see one of the three of ones is here ten of swords so this is a this can be this can be a good card and a bad card, but when I say a bad card, it's not like a terrible omen or anything. It's like the ending of something and maybe something that you didn't want to end, but it had to end. But I feel like this is, with the Three of Wands, this is a good message. It's telling you that things have finally come to an end that didn't serve you. Things That, that lull I was talking about has come to an end. That indecision has come to an end. The wondering if this is the right journey, the right path you should be on, that has come to an end. So this is saying that you are definitely on the right journey. You're definitely on the right path you need to be on. And with the Ten of Swords here, it's just saying, you know, this is the end of that. This is the end of, of, of that turmoil. And I'm trying to get it out of that glare. That turmoil and that, that indecision that you weren't sure of. Um, and with all endings, there's beginnings, and that's your new journey that you're going on. Um, so move forward in this and take this Ten of Wands as the end of just indecision and things not falling into place. Five of Cups. Yep. Yeah, so let it, let it go. Let it go. Let go what, what doesn't serve you anymore because um, you do have an offer there waiting. The Two of Cups is an a offer in waiting. Um, and it's an offer that's probably given from the heart, from given from somebody that you know. Um, so don't dwell on what's lost and what you can't change, like the Ten of you know, Swords is the end of something. You couldn't change it. Um, the ending is here, and you know, just let that go because that is now a part of your past. So just concentrate on the new path forward um, that you're going on let go of what doesn't serve you because everything seems to have fallen into place for you now so let's get a unicorn card 
But like I was saying, don't look back. Don't dwell on it. Um, with the Five of Cups, that's like, you know, don't concentrate on what could your cup spilt because there's nothing you can do about those spilt cups. They're done and over. But you got two cups full behind you that are full. Concentrate on those, and you can always build those up and move forward. And it's also showing there's support around you, so don't forget that also. Be loved. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. So maybe this is a journey that you're on with, like I said, this is somebody making an offering, somebody you know. This is an emo emotional offer. Maybe this is someone that you didn't see in that way before, and now you do. Um, maybe this is someone that has been supportive this whole time for you, you know, and now you've seen them in a different light. So prepare for, t I think basically, though, but it's being, you know, the beloved card is saying, but just be prepared for people to, for genuine love, um, patience, understanding. Just prepare yourself for that on your new journey. Um, just be ready, you know, to, to be accepting and trusting of, of your, of people. Um, but always use your intuition before, you know, before. But, you know, your, intu your intuition will tell you. But keep that romantic side of you alive because it says here romance is returning. So that's part of your journey. Let's get one more card. Oops, sorry. These cards are kind of big and sometimes they one more card. There we go. Dragonfly, magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. Well, there you go. I was saying let go of the past. Don't take it with you. And the dragonfly, I'm trying to get that. <laughs> there we go. And the dragonflies in there backing up. Well, daggone. Now, backing up your five of cups there. So take that as a... As a a second message to you know embrace your new journey as I was saying you're on a new journey you're moving forward now's the time to act um, and let go of the past as I was also saying with the five of cups let the past go because it's not serving you it's not going to serve you moving forward and so just embrace that new journey um, use your intuition moving along the way be open to um, new love and new uh, experiences and new things and um, you it spirit is saying it's time to go it's time to act let those things go I do appreciate everyone watching thank you very much I do hope you have a blessed day and love and light